this experiment I'm going to do in the tree test for determination for the presence of an aldehyde. I have my aldehyde here. I'm going to be creating failing solutions by adding together solutions of failings one and two. I have a solution of acidified potassium permanganate. And here I have solutions of sodium hydroxide, silver nitrate, and ammonia, which when added together will make Tolan's reagent. I'll be using a water bath to ensure the reactions go to completion. So here I have my six test tubes in front of me. I'm going to make two solutions of failing solution, two of acidified potassium permanganate, and two of Tolan's reagent. One will be used as a control, and one will be used to see the color change in the reaction. First of all, to make failing solution, you add equal volumes of failings one and two. Equal volumes of failings one and equal volumes of failings two. The test tube on the left will be our reaction test tube, the one on the right can be our control. Here I have my acidified potassium magnet. So failing solution, you require three milliliters of sodium nitrate solution. One milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution. And then slowly add ammonia to the solution until the precipitate disappears. Now my three reagents for testing are created. I'm now going to add one mil of my solution in to check for the presence of an aldehyde. Now I'm going to heat these three solutions in my hot water bath. Here I have my potassium magnet before the reaction. Here's the solution after, and as you can see, it has turned totally colorless, indicating the presence of an aldehyde. Here we can see the failing solution at the start of the reaction, this royal blue color, and after adding the aldehyde, we see the brick red color of copper in the zero state in the solution. So determining we have an aldehyde present. So here we can see Toland's reagent before the reaction, at the end of the reaction, we can clearly see the silver deposit on the inside of the test tube once the addition of aldehyde and heating had occurred, showing the presence of the aldehyde with a nice silver mirror deposited.